<clears throat> yeah, this come up in that documentary we was watching. Um, nothing to say. Uh, which was kind of yeah, one of the first kind of breakout grunge songs. But um, I'm sure we've heard this on the live that they did. We watched one of them performing live. And I f I'm sure I heard it on that. If not, I reacted to it. But the trouble is, is I reacted to so many different variations of Chris Cornell in a short space of time that unless the song has become one of my go-to Soundgarden songs, I I forget the names. Um, but it's only when I hear them. But when I heard this, I was like, oh, I know this. But I'm pretty sure I only found it from around watching a whole live performance of Soundgarden. But um, yeah, nothing to say. And this is... Lydia said the f bass player before Ben Shepard. This is the original bass player. Hyro, his name is, I think. But yeah, let's go. Young Chris was. So stomping. Where that melody comes in.
Hmm. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? One, Chris is, Chris is so motherfucking rock. So rock. What else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Even early doors, they had their... I was very impressed with how they managed to make that track kind of break apart, if you know what I mean. Like, the timing went so weird, but they were all on time with each other. It was a weird timing sequence, but they all hit perfect. Uh, so that you see that that weird timing of Soundgarden was there from day one. That they had that. They had that quirkiness to want to play around and not have it so regular rock and roll all the time. Um, but yeah, fire performance. Young Chris's voice as well. There's such a... Uh, it's a pitch difference, isn't it? It's his, the pitch of his voice when he does the screaming on this to, to later even when he does screaming bits. Definitely his voice, like almost like of his singing voice, it's like his balls dropped, basically. Even though obviously they obviously had at that point, but he sings so higher. Yeah, this is definitely has that first album sound. What's it called? Lau. Lau does something. I don't know. I can't think what it's called. I think that's the first album anyway. It might not even be their first album, but the one with Hands All Over, it has that kind of. You can hear. Chris's voice change. It's a bit like Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan is like, you can typically tell the, the decade of Bob Dylan from how his voice sounds. Like when you hear the B sides of each decade, you know whereabouts that B side got wrote because of his voice. Um, but yeah, Chris's voice, I think you can mark his thing. You can see his voice kind of. I mean, his voice is amazing at this point. But to keep kind of mature in it and like he did, yeah. Yeah. Great performance though. And yeah, like I say, Chris is just a rock motherfucker. The way he was stomping in them boots, big stomps and yeah, head. Yeah. He's a rocking motherfucker. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.